All right. This is absolutely disgusting. And these babies, they literally just went to hide right when I started recording, are big enough to go out with the big ducks. So what I'm going to do today is cut some holes in this wire to make a door that goes out into the big run so that they can go swim in that pond. We can ditch the nasty kitty pool because that was just cleaned four hours ago. Um, and get rid of this mud pit over here. <laughs> All right, I am going to get started. I'm just going to cut this wire and get it all attached. I want to make this. I'm just kind of in it here. Eventually, I'm going to have an auto door that goes on here. What? Nothing. Actually, today, I think I'm going to buy some dirt, just some cheap topsoil to make my chicken start off. I got them some really cute um, bucket things for a dirt bag. I'm really excited about it. It's like dirt. And this is going to be very, like, anticlimactic because... My ducks, I don't know if everybody's ducks are like this, I kind of assume they were, but my ducks are scary cats, and they are going to be absolutely terrified to go out there, and absolutely terrified of the pond, is my assumption. Like, the pond does have a lot of really big bullfrogs, and turtle, and um, that's a very scary Plus, they'll be afraid of the other ducks, too. Probably. But pretty soon, we're going to build a fence over here, separate the ducks and chickens. Um, that way, I can breed my ducks. Because you can't have male ducks with chickens. Not to mention, it's just not a great idea having chickens and ducks together. I've done it for a few years. And it is possible. Like, you can do it. Um, it's just, the ducks are so wet that they just don't like the same environment. You know, chickens, the poops are very dry and dusty, whereas the one with my ducks, it stays pretty wet. And that's probably not a big deal in, like, the summertime, but in the wintertime, you want your chicken poops to be really dry. And that doesn't happen when ducks live there. And that uh, increases the risk of frostbite for the chickens. So, it's just better to have them separate. I didn't want to separate them, but... At the end of the day, that's what's going to work best. Plus, once I get the ducks out of a chicken coop, that makes room for more chickens, right? I actually have two chickens um, that are hopefully hatching out babies right now. Uh, although it's been quite, quite the drama. I give them eggs. Somebody takes the eggs. Lots of chicken breeding drama going on. All right, I got it all cut. Now I'm just gonna zip tie around to kind of attach it to. And again, guys, this is so not predator proof. Like this would not cut it as a nighttime enclosure. But we do have a separate 
place for them that is predator proof where they sleep at night. So this is strictly just for during the day. And eventually I'll have this whole thing wrapped in hardware cloth and it'll be predator proof. And then I'm also gonna line the bottom with sand and river rock. That way it doesn't get so stinky and you can just kind of hose it off. That's what I've got going on in my run over there and it works really great with the guts. Also throw in some pine pellets every now and then when I can find them. Ever since the chicken people found out about the horse stall pine pellets, they're never in a stock anymore. It's just sad. I really, really like them. I also really need them for my sheep. For their barn. And they never find them anymore. So that sucks. Okay, this went way faster than I was expecting. I don't know why I thought it was going to take me longer to do this. But it did not. Alright, last zip tie, and then I am going to cut off the excess because I'm sure that will also be very scary for my dogs. <laughs> Guys, I also don't think I ever even announced what we ended up naming all of the ducks. So, you know, we had Daisy and Donald. Those were the first two. And then we got the next two girls. And I ended up naming them. I thought we would just go ahead and stick with the Mickey Mouse theme. Uh, or Disney, I guess it's not technically Mickey Mouse, but... Anyway, so we named the other two baby girls um, Clarabelle and Betty. And they're both black, and honestly, I can't tell them apart, but we have names. And when the kids ask me, which duck is that, I just pretend I know. <laughs> you know? Because parenting is all about lying every now and again, right? Okay, this is done. So, I'm going to sit back and watch, drink my caffeine, and see if they decide to go through, actually. I'm going to snip this a tiny bit more up here, just to match, because my OCD self doesn't like that one wire is going to move down more than the other. So I'm going to just really quick. Okay, okay, okay. Much better. I really hope they get in the front because they'll love it. Once they finally go in, they just absolutely love it. And then it's like, why didn't you do that sooner, guys? Like, this is your favorite thing in the world now. You love the pond. Don't you wish you had done that a long time ago? Okay, cleaning up my mess because I'm for sure going to see these little black pieces and think that they are like little black snakes. Okay, I don't know where there is a good one, actually. That's weird. Um, okay, that's all I can find. Their little hole is done. Eventually, I'll have an auto door installed there. But I haven't bought that yet. So, there they are. We'll see if they like it. Are you guys gonna go through? I don't know if I should, I don't know if I should be mean and herd them through it, kind of scare them, because they will love it. They will love it so much, but it's gonna be chaos. I don't know. I think I'm gonna give them a second and if they don't go through, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them a little help. Okay, I'm just sitting here watching the ducks and they did already, it's been like one minute. They already found the little opening and they stuck their heads through and then ran away. So I'm going to sit and watch and see if they come back because they're, they're looking, they want out there, they're watching. Well, it's been 15 minutes. No ducks have exited the run. A chicken did come into the run and quickly left when she realized it was a disgusting mud pit.
I'm trying to not force them out. But at the same time, I know they'll love it if I do. I know they'll love it. So, a few more minutes and then I think they're going to get forced out. All right, I'm going to help them out. They are just sitting in their kiddie pool and I really want them to go out and explore. They'll have so much fun. Get on the other side. <laughs> Keep going. There. Okay, that's good. All right, leave them alone now. Leave them alone. They can get out if they want to. <laughs> That's okay. You didn't find any eggs? No. Hi, Joe. That's Jan. Her name's Jan. Jan? Mom? Mom, is that gonna be another one? Mom, that's, that's a rooster. Mom, that one just looks like. Yeah, that. it's a rooster, though. Does that to come 